Hey everyone, so this is a quick demonstration on how to get your Perf Pro remote app connected to Perf Pro Studio on your Windows box. So you've got the remote now, and part of my jiggly screen here. <laughs> um, you've got the, here we have a, just a four rider setup, and you've got the remote now uh, added to your iOS device. And here what I have is, because I'm holding my phone, my kid's iPad. And so you can see, okay, there's the Perf Pro app, uh, remote app icon for that. But so what you can do is, here, let's load that up. And, okay, and that pops up. And then here we have the remote. So the first thing we want to do is then go into settings. So hit the settings button. And you'll see, as this comes in, what the ID is. And um, chances are it's actually going to match already, but... What you want to do is then go into Studios Options and go into the Remote Control Options and enable this option here. Okay, and so assuming that your Windows computer is hooked into a network, um, you don't necessarily, you don't need an internet connection, but you need to be on a network. That is basically then going to give you a unique ID um, for your remote app. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the number that the remote app needs to connect to the, the Windows machine and to Perfro Studio. So take a look at that number and then type it in exactly with the periods and everything in here. And if you click on it, um, you should get your little keyboard. And then, you know, you can test it out, but, you know, you'll, you got to do a dot period seven and hit done. Okay. And then now that you have it in there, you can check the connection. And wham, bammy, it's connected, right? Okay, great. And so you also have this, on, in the same settings, you also have the lead rider. So if you've got more than one trainer in the, in the location, um, it's good to have at least one, one of the trainer positions set as the lead rider. And so in this case, let's make it, um, we're going to make it rider four. So, and that's a, actually a treadmill. So there's four, and then we'll come down and say lead rider. Daniel Gerbs on trainer number four now controls the workout from the remote control. I have um, the the voice activated on, on the studio side. So that was coming from the Windows box. Um, but then it also shows the lead rider on within the remote. Um, so there is some back and forth going on between the app and Perfro Studio on the Windows box. Okay, so that's that really is the, uh, the heart of just getting connected. And hopefully um, it goes as easy for you as it did as you just witnessed here. So... Um, that's everything there. So now the, the from the use side of things, um, here we'll just do some just some quick on off things here. And you can see that you can turn on off, and that's why it's labeled that way, certain things. So like the desktop button. So if you click on that, you can see, and then I'll move away and then I'll keep clicking on it, and you can see that it's toggling the desktop. And those are things that you can do within Studio, within the application but it does just make it a little bit easier from the remote. Same thing with no riders. You can hide the displays that say no rider on it during the workout or, um, you know, let's say the workout, or once it loads up, you can just turn those riders off just to keep the confusion down. So if let's say you've got uh, 20 bikes on there and you've got 10 that are filled, you can just hit the no riders and that'll just blank them out um, just to keep the, the screen uh, from being so cluttered. Um, that's that's up to you. Um, and then there's obviously other things that should just make sense. The analyzer button will pop up analyzer um, pretty quick back and forth. It just it, it kind of gives you an idea that if let's say you're riding and you need, need a quick look at your race log while you're doing the workout, you can hit that analyzer button. It'll pop it open for you. Uh, wattage smoothing, if you've got, um, you know, if you're riding a trainer, you can adjust it right from here. You just run the slider on it. And you'll see that, and you'll see up on the um, on the display too. It was when you slide it, you get that three second, four second smoothing done automatically for you. So it's very easy. 
And then if you have a power meter, you can do, um, you know, some of you like to use the power meter to control your trainer. Um, it's a quick on off from here. Um, same thing with doing, uh, you know, manual zero, zeros or, uh, you know, some call it a recalibration. You can do the auto on and off there. And then if you're on a trainer and you only want to see the, the speed cadence, um, you can do that as well. Some of that's already kind of built in if you're like you're doing a power meter with a, uh, let's say, a kicker. Um, you know, another ant plus trainer. Um, that's sort of built in. Um, but if you like you have it on a copy trainer, then that speed cadence only is a very um, handy little thing to show. All right, so to the remote, if we click on that, then it's just basically uh, I'm the lead rider at number four. Um, here you can see it says swipe left or right or tap to change the daisy displays. Um, this is a really cool part of it. So if you just start tapping, I'm going to just start tapping, you can see that your data displays are changing. Now if I swipe, I can swipe back and forth. Here I'm doing it. And then <laughs> my grunting. Um, that just kind of quickly allows you to go back and forth between excuse me, between two uh, displays. So that's the that's the really handy part of that. Uh, other things on here, you know, are should be fairly self-explanatory, but like graph is gonna pop open the, the graph for that rider display. And so you can see, okay, yeah, that just displayed that. There's another graph that's open for another rider display, but this app is for, this display is for number four. So I'm toggling it back and forth. Uh, the mode button, and all this is in the documentation, but the mode button is going to uh, switch modes if it's possible. So in this case, we've got a um, we've got a uh, an, an FTP workout loaded. However, I have it set up so within the workout options to also show the course mode option on the main timer. And so when you do that, you do the erg workout in course mode, and so you have to hold your own lots. And so you can, if you hit the mode button, which I'll do right now, that's gonna actually enable that option. And then you set the grade. So I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit the minus buttons here on the remote and just set it back down to zero. And then what you end up with in that scenario is you actually end up with a grade button on there. And so if, if during the workout, you can keep the mode at course, but if you hit the grade button, which I'll do, um, let's just, you know, let me try it here. You can see that it, it opened up the little grade slider on the main timer and then it disappeared. So I'm going to hit it again. There it is. And then I'm going to hit the plus and minus keys to adjust that grade for all the trainers. So because I'm the lead rider, I get access to this. Non-lead riders won't, it'll just ignore it. So you won't get that. All right. So that's a, that's a pretty handy feature. And then down in here, um, you can obviously recalibrate. Uh, if you're, you know, doing home use, recalibrating is really uh, pausing the workout and then putting it in recalibration mode. Uh, the workout intensity, that's for lead riders only. And so let's just start hitting the plus thing. And you can see down in the profile, it's changing the entire profile for all trainers. And for and in this case, you can see that the recoveries didn't change because it's set up so that only the hard stuff gets harder and, and or, or uh, easier, and the recoveries remain the same. Uh, lap is for the you know you can hit a lap during a workout to get a you know to to hit the lap uh, um, to get the lap window. Everything else there is is pretty self-explanatory. Um, hopefully, you find it extremely uh, valuable in, during your workouts. Um, studio use, uh, you know, please let uh, all your athletes know that it's available. You just have to plug into your guest network and then, um, uh, or your network, it just depends on, depending on your setup and your level of trust. Um, so that'll, uh, that'll help um, all of your athletes, especially with that tap slide to look at all their data while they ride. Um, or, you know, get a quick graph of why they're riding, you can do that. So it's, it's there to, to make uh, their experience even better. And I hope, uh, I hope you find it useful. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. And um, have a good one.